come and give me apps. You're at mall. The number one app store. Give me apps.com. Download apps for any smartphone or tablet. If you're a developer, pay no developer fees. Keep up to 100% of your profits and withdraw your earnings by PayPal whenever you want. No apps, though. Let's do that. Today, we're checking out Ryo Keyboard by iCoaching GmbH. This is for the iOS and Android platforms. This is a larger keyboard than the one that comes stock with your Samsung or iOS device and allows you to type faster, error-free, super fast, in fact. That's what it advertises, up to 20 to 70% faster than other keyboards. It is in the honeycomb style, and you can add this, of course, to your device and use this in place of the stock keyboard, as we just mentioned. You have a nice tutorial that's included here, nice and well laid out. Uh, you also have app settings that show you that. Take a look here. You can select from different themes. You have light. You have dark, red, green, blue, purple, sunrise, and Christmas. We're going to stick with the light for this tutorial. You also have auto correction, auto capitalization, auto space after punctuation. You also have languages, shortcuts, and haptic feedback. And you also have your advanced settings. It also learns your lingo, by the way. It takes one or two weeks to do that. So it'll do some corrections based on what you normally type, which is pretty cool. It takes a while to pick up on that, however. We're going to go back to the main screen, take a look at your tutorial. We'll walk you through that. Swipe or tap on the arrow to start. You can enable the keyboard and select the keyboard, which we did already. Uh, you can select your language. That will affect the characters that do display. You also have add additional languages. Choose a theme, which we did. Here's your tutorial. Use both thumbs for lightning speed. It took a while for me to get adjusted to the Samsung keyboard when I migrated from a BlackBerry, upgraded to or upgraded from a BlackBerry years ago. And uh, this is more in line with what you would experience maybe on a laptop. That's how I feel anyway. Uh, you can, of course, give your space keys over here, by the way, as well. Take a look at that. Capitalize and alternative characters. Uh, you can type uh, hello, Ryo. And by the way, to get uppercase letters, capital, you swipe up. If you type that, okay, it says typo because we didn't type in hello, Ryo. If you just tap that, you get the lowercase letter. So you have LLO. You have your space bar over there. Now, I'm not using my thumbs only because I'm in front of the camera, but take a look at this. You swipe up, you swipe up again. Uh, it says uh, typo, swipe up, swipe up. Bang, and there it is, and you see that it um, confirms that we did type it in correctly. Now to delete text, you just swipe to the left, take a look at that. Well, not there, but in the space, on the keyboard rather. So if you do this, you um, delete one by one. If you do it like that, you swipe long, then um, you delete the entire line, which is nice as well. We can move on from there. We're going on with the tutorial. Uh, to restore text, you go this way. Take a look at that, one at a time. And uh, if you hold it out, it'll um, put the text back there. Now, we uh, got rid of uh, one of the lines just now the other way, which is why it doesn't show up. And you have your emojis and special characters. If you tap on this here, take a look at that, you, all of these characters show up, which is great. And if you swipe up, of course, you'll get the emojis. Remember, to get the um, characters that are at the top of each... Uh, key, you need to swipe up, all right? And there are all, your, all of your emojis. You have over 1,000 emojis that are included. And so, you know, there is your tutorial. We're going to get out of there. You can type up to four different characters. This one is a little tougher to get, but once you master it, you'll, of course, be a master. You can tap this to get that, for example. If you swipe up, you get the one on the top. If you hold, you get the one to the side over there. Take a look at this. And if you hold and swipe, you get the one on the bottom over there, right? And you can barely see that because uh, they're very similar, the quotation versus the apostrophe. And uh, long press for uh, diacritics, you can do that, all right? And that would all depend on the language setting on your keyboard. We're sticking with English. Swipe down anywhere to undo the last correction at the beginning of a sentence, swipe down twice, all right? So that's the tutorial. We're going to go on in and type in a message. Let's do that. So I'm going to get out of there, go to our messages, and you see the keyboard pops up. We have this selected. You need to enable the keyboard in order to use it, and you need to always keep that in mind. Now, we're typing to no one. We're just demonstrating the keyboard here. So if we swipe up, uh, let's just do high. If we tap once, now that's the first letter, so it's going to capitalize it. And if you notice here, it's now lowercase. If we swipe up, once again, it's capitalized, and we can do that. So we are going to do some deleting. And don't forget, you swipe that way to delete. I'm going to now pick up the device and use my thumbs here. We're going to type as if we would normally type. So, hello. And uh, we'll just do what we did before. Don't forget, you tap on these for the space bar. I mean, there's no space bar on the bottom, so for spaces, you do that. And if we want to type in Ryo, once again, we swipe up 
and there it is. If I want to add um, some emojis, we'll go with the space bar. Don't forget, this is your one, two, three, your numerical key and your emojis. We'll swipe up, and there we are. And um, we'll put some smiley faces there. A couple of these, you have different emojis you can choose from. Take a look at that. And you have your flags and stuff, which is great. And, of course, these are your regular stock emojis. So, this is fairly straightforward. Um, we are a little over five minutes here. This is a wonderful keyboard. I don't think I'm going to um, get rid of this app. It's going to stay on the device for quite some time. It's a nice alternative to the stock Samsung keyboard, and it's pretty easy to pick up on, right? Uh, the Samsung keyboard tries to follow what you would experience on a laptop or a standard keyboard, which um, in some cases is quite uncomfortable. Even though I've had Samsung devices for years, um, you're taking that entire keyboard and you're condensing it into a very small space. At least with this, uh, the keys are a lot larger. And there are other keyboard apps on the market. Uh, this one was uh, backed by Kickstarter funds. You can check out the information on the listing. And of course, it's available for iOS and Android. And you saw us demonstrate that here on camera. It is $199. Keep that in mind, the price may change. We're just putting that out there because um, that's the current price. And it was featured in Kickstarter TechCrunch, the independent Android guys, 20 minutes and many more. I'm reading that straight from the listing. Guys, uh, this was a thorough review. It is private and secure. This is um, Ryo, W R I O. Might be Rio, I say Ryo. Sounds better. Guys, you are checking out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash atmall. Give me apps as the world's number one independent app store. Download any Android app. Check out our iPhone and Windows Phone showcases. If you're a developer, check this out. You pay no developer fees. You get to keep up to 100% of your profits and withdraw your earnings by PayPal whenever you want. No app store anywhere. Let's do that. This is WRIO Keyboard. This is by iCoaching GmbH. For the iOS and Android platforms, we reviewed it on a Samsung Galaxy 7 Edge. We hope you enjoyed this review as much as we did, guys. Till next time.